everyone, my name is Katie, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be talking about structuring your novel, which is part of my craft book critiques or uh, opinions. <laughs> I'm just kind of running through these craft books with you guys and putting up a little word doc on my website for y'all to check out. Um, this one I've gotten through the whole structuring your novel part and then it's gotten into the scene section. Um, I think a lot of this again, um, KM Wyland, it's on her webpage pretty much, but all of this is in one place, which is helpful. She goes into part one, which is talking about the hook where you should begin your story opening chapter pitfalls and then we get into the first act so she's talking about introducing your characters what should be on that first page first chapter um, and then we get into introducing stakes and settings and I like this the first quarter of your book lays the foundation for your entire story every scene should lead to the next and on to the first plot point Set up all the necessary playing pieces so you can ground your reader and grip them with the need to keep reading. So then we're going to go to the first plot point. This one's different than Save the Cat in that she has plot points, pinch points, like it's kind of just structured differently and it was interesting to try to wrap my mind around. But then we go into the first half of the second act which has the first pinch point and then your midpoint and then the second half of the second act which has your second pinch point. And then um, she goes through subplots that you kind of need to be like wrapping up as you get into the third act where you're going to have your third plot point and um, fulfilling your character's arc. And that was talked about a lot. I don't know if y'all can see that. In creating characters, um, that was really good for knowing the arc steps. It was very hard to grasp that in light of um, Save the Cat and Romancing the Beat because of the whole arc thing like I guess hopefully it inherently happens with me because I don't think about it in those terms and I hit the climax and then the resolution and then she goes into further about like uh, considerations for your ending if it's happy or sad things not to do and then I think she talks about if you're doing a series as well she does a lot of um, FAQs in the book as well and then she gets into scene structure which I think is really interesting she does the whole um, scene and sequel there we go and so it's just like action reaction almost like scene and sequel and I've never really thought about scenes in that way um, but I think it happens naturally like once you know that everything needs to lead and move the story forward that's kind of just how it happens I think <laughs> and so she goes into options for goals in a scene conflict in a scene and disasters in a scene and then for your sequel, she goes into reactions in a sequel, dilemmas in a sequel, and decisions in a sequel. So just lots of examples um, for you enhancing your craft, basically. And then she talks about variations on scene structure, and then some FAQs on scene structure. And then her last little bit at the end is like sentence structure stuff, and just um, being better at, like when you do line edits or something, or knowing ahead of time not to write <laughs> in that way. Overall, I thought it was really good and helpful. Um, it, I would love to mix this with Save the Cat and Romancing the Beat and create my own outline because I like bits of each of them. And so one day soon, I hope I get to do that and um, kind of go off that and share it with you guys in the future. Let me know down below if you've created your own outline based on other people's outlines <laughs> and like story structures. Um, I think it's interesting when people can take a mix of things and create their own. And again, um, I'll have some like a little bit of a recap for just this part of the book and then chapter headings for the rest of this in case you do end up buying this and want to take your own notes along with it. So yeah, definitely go check out her website too and I'll link that down below as well. And then if you want to pair this, go watch my creating characters video too. It also has a word doc in my members only page. In the future, I'm debating doing uh, what Lindsay Puckett did. She did a writing craft Oh my gosh, battle, writing craft book battle. And so she like compared all of her books. You, I think you can just see a few right there, but there's a stack. Um, I haven't read the one that won her battle and it's the one that is really hard for me to get into. So I don't know if I need to do that before I battle them out, but <laughs> I would love to know if y'all have any other craft books that you think I should read. Um, I 
do enjoy trying to read them and understand them and share them with you or think of like why I don't do something that way or what I like about a, um, a book. But yeah, so that was structuring your novel. I hope that y'all enjoyed this. Usually I go a little bit more in depth, but I don't know if y'all like that or not. So um, the word doc is on my members page if y'all want to check it out. And um, feel free to ask any questions down below or on my Instagram. Thanks for watching and I will see y'all next time. Bye.